is simple. Yeah. Nothing real deep. All right. Just an old, old message that still has the power to save. Yeah. In a church world where Jesus just doesn't seem to be enough anymore, Mom. I want to stand here today behind this pulpit Amen. over the airwaves of radio, yeah. through video, over the internet, Mom. and proclaim to the world once again yeah. that Jesus is still more than enough. Oh, Amen? Nice. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I had a dear brother text me last night over the internet and said that a preacher, a pastor had talked to him about coming and preaching for him and he said the pastor asked him, what's your gimmick? Mm. How are you going to draw the crowd? Mm. This preacher said he told him the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And he said he never heard any more back from that pastor. Mm. We're living in a day where unless you have a gimmick to draw the crowd, right. where unless you're willing to jump through hoops, amen, right. or sell them some snake oil, right. you have a hard time drawing a crowd, amen? I got an invitation to a revival, a three-day revival, and their theme was this. This was the theme. One word, prosperity. Their whole camp meeting was going to be on that. And I told someone, well, I might be interested if their theme had have been this. One word, Jesus. Amen? Right. Not one word, prosperity. But one word, Jesus. Amen. Amen. He's still more than enough today. Amen. Amen. What's part of a sermon by a pastor this past week? And I say part because, Brother Dave, I couldn't stomach very much of it and had to turn it off. All right. But the name of it was The Power of I Am. Yes. Now, on the surface, you might think that sounds like a pretty good message. If he's talking about the I am that I am that spoke from the burning bush to Moses on the backside of the desert and told him, go deliver my people out from under the hand of Pharaoh. But that's not the I am he was talking about. He was talking about the power of us to be able to say, I am this. Yeah. I am that. The power of positive faking and positive confession. Now don't get me wrong. None of us should sit around singing the hee-haw song, gloom, despair, and agony on me. Amen? Yeah. None of us should sit around saying, I'm not anything, I'm just a piece of trash, I'm not good for nothing, I'm terrible. Amen? Uh, yeah. But none of us should focus on I, me, mine, and mine either. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. If you want to talk about I am, I'm all for it. As long as you're talking about the I am that said in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. If you want to talk about the I am that spoke and should let there be light and darkness got out of the way so that light could come forth. If you want to talk about the I am that should let us make man in our own image. If you want to talk about the I am that hung the stars in space, amen, and told the mountains how tall to rise and the sea how far to come. If you want to talk about that I am, then I'm all for it. But let me give you a warning this morning. Yeah. If you, if a preacher, if a man or woman, whoever it is, yeah. if they spend more time talking about I, me, my, and mine, yeah. than they do him, oh. let me give you a piece of advice. Right. Do one of two things. Uh. Walk away slowly or run for the hills. But whatever you do, get away from them. Amen? Amen. Because they've already missed the mark. Amen? Because it's all about putting the spotlight on me when we should be turning the spotlight on Jesus. Amen? Oh. Jesus is still more than that. What big name preacher are you going to have? You can draw a crowd with a big name preacher. What big name singing group, Brother Dave, are you going to have? You can draw a crowd with a big name singing group. What kind of big entertainment show are you going to have? Strobe lights and some smoke. You can draw a crowd with those things. But I'm here to tell you today that Jesus is still more than enough. Amen. And if He ain't enough for you, if you have to have entertainment, if you have to have a big name preacher, if you have to have lights and, and smoke, if you have to have strobe lights and praise dancers, if He still ain't enough for you, my advice for you is before the trumpet sounds, before the last breath leaves your body, and it may be your next, find yourself an old-fashioned altar and ask Him to renew your first love. Amen. Ask Him to put something inside of you and take something out of you. Get the world out and let Jesus in. Amen. Because Jesus is still more than enough today. Hallelujah. He's more than enough to make a blind man to see. He's more than enough. Amen. To open deaf ears. Come on. 
God breathed. He's still more than enough. Exactly. He's still the answer today. Amen. That brother, buddy, that's just an old fashioned. Won't you? Don't you have something new for us? Uh -huh. It's the new things that's getting us in trouble. Right. It's forsaking the old paths. Yes. Come on. Amen. It's forsaking the fountain of true living water right. and hewing ourselves out cisterns. Yeah. Broken cisterns that can hold no water. If you're looking for the spotlight to be on anything besides Jesus today, oh. you might as well go down the street to the church on the corner because we're going to lift up Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Why, brother Billy? Why are you going to lift up Jesus? Because he said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Amen. Because he said, there is no other name given under heaven Amen. whereby man can be saved. Jesus. Amen. He's still more than enough. Amen. Yeah. He's still more than enough. Why today must the focus and the theme yes. always be on something else other than where it belongs? Come on. The Apostle Paul summed it up pretty good in 2 Timothy 1 and 12 when he spoke these words. For the which cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, yeah. I am not ashamed. Oh. For I know whom I have believed. Right. You see, if you come to me today and tell me that Jesus just ain't enough anymore, yeah. you might as well be spitting into a strong wind. Amen. You might as well find an old farmer out underneath the shade tree that's sinking his teeth into some watermelon and tell him it ain't no good. Right. Because I already tasted and I've done seen. Amen. That the Lord is good. Absolutely. Oh, hell. If you don't think the Lord is good, that's because you've been chewing on something besides Him. All right. Woo. Exactly. Boy, I preach this morning. Amen. Amen. You've been eating on something else. Yeah. Because I have already tasted and seen True. that the Lord is good. Right. Amen. So don't waste your time telling me that Jesus ain't real. Amen. Don't waste your time telling me that Jesus ain't enough. Don't waste your time telling me that you got to preach on the rooftop to draw a crowd. Amen. Oh. If the crowd, if that's what they come to see, they can go somewhere else and see that. Amen. Right. But I'm going to offer them Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus. Yes. And Paul sums it up whenever he says these words. Got about halfway into it, the preacher took off. I know whom I have believed, Brother uh, Dave. Yeah. And am persuaded. Amen. That I am able. Oh, that ain't what it says, is it? Mm -hmm. That he is able yes. to keep that Come on. which I have committed unto him against that day. Alright. Not only is he able. But he's more than able. Yes, sir. Not only is he enough, True. but he's more than enough. Absolutely. Amen. Oh, you know, I love that old song. I wouldn't trade Jesus for silver or gold. I wouldn't trade Jesus for riches untold. I wouldn't trade Jesus for houses or land that this world affords to give. I wouldn't trade Jesus. Amen. But the world has traded Jesus. Oh, we can criticize. We can put down Judas. Yeah. We can talk about how he sold out. Uh -huh. So has the modern day church as we know it today. Amen. They've sold out to the prosperity gospel, which is a gospel from hell. Amen. True. Is there prosperity, Brother Billy? Certainly there is, but yeah. not the way the church is preaching it today. Oh, Amen. Right. Say, Brother Billy, why are you beating that old dead horse again? Because there's too many people being deceived by it. Amen. Right. Had somebody tell me one time, why do you keep meddling in the stuff that don't affect your congregation? I got news for you. If there's cancer in the body, it don't just affect the part, that part of the body that the cancer's in. It affects the whole body. Amen. And the Prosperity gospel, the way it's being preached today, is a cancer in the body of Christ. Amen. The, the name it and claim it in the word of faith doctrine, the way it is being preached today and has been for years, is a cancer in the body of Christ. Come on, brother Bill. And it affects all of us. Come on. If it don't affect you, then that means you're not a part of the body. Come on, preach it. Amen. You need to get into the body. And then you'll realize that all of this stuff affects all of us. Yes, sir. That have been born again, grafted into the vine. Right. Amen. Come on. All of, if you get gangrene uh -huh. in your foot, yeah. should the rest of your body not be concerned about it? Well, that's just the foot. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> It'll kill you. Amen. It'll kill your whole body. Yes. Amen. Oh. If you get cancer in one spot, yeah. It'll spread. Amen. That's why it concerns me whenever I see preachers promoting themselves. Amen. Right. That's why it concerns me when you hear preachers. And you know they have to be making up some of these statistics because there's no way they can know them for sure. Right. 
boasting about what they have done. Boasting about who they've led to the Lord. Boasting about every great work they've done. Like I said, run for the hills. Amen. Get away from them. Exactly. Find you a man or woman of God to follow that's lifting up Jesus. Absolutely. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Yeah. Amen? Listen to me. When I quit following Christ, you better quit following me. That's right. Amen? Do you hear what I said? If your preacher has stopped following Jesus, if your preacher has stopped exalting Jesus, if your preacher has stopped walking along with Jesus, you better walk with somebody else. All right. Amen? Come on. Warning. Try to lead him back. But if he won't listen, go find you someplace Amen. else. True. Amen. True. We'll find somebody else. Now, Jesus is still more yes, than enough. Amen. The two blind men on the road from Jericho, uh -huh. it says that in Matthew uh, 20 and 30, and you don't have to go there. You can write it down if you want to or just make note of it for later. Matthew 20 and 30 says, Behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside when they heard that Benny Hinn was coming. Uh -huh. I didn't want to say this. No. Somebody said, you'll get your healing if you'll go, if you'll travel all the way to California. No, you get your healing if, you, if your faith can touch God. Amen. You don't have to go. Amen? That's right. He'll come where, you, he'll come where you're at. Amen. Now, I ain't down to people who pray for people and, get them, and, and the people get healed. Don't right. get me wrong. Right. But I'm telling you, you can touch God yourself. Amen. Gone are the days right. that we have to go through a man. Right. <laughs> Amen? Right. We can go boldly into the throne room of God and faith still moves Him today. Oh, Hallelujah. Right. When they heard about the big time of angels coming through. No, that ain't what it says. When they heard that Jesus passed by, yeah. they cried out and said, Have mercy on us. Praise oh God. Lord, thou son of David. Praise God. Jesus was more than enough for those blind men. Yes, sir. Amen. True. What about the woman with the issue of blood? That's in Mark 5 and 27. When she had heard yeah. of Jesus. Come on now. Oh, hallelujah. When she had heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and she touched the hem of His garment. Amen. And when she touched the hem of His garment, the Bible says immediately. Yes. Immediately. Immediately she was healed. Yes. The issue stopped. Right. True. Amen. True. When? When she heard about Jesus. Right. See, we got this thing messed up. Yeah. We're giving the world stuff that ain't going to satisfy them. Come on. Entertainment ain't going to satisfy your crowd. Right. You'll keep them entertained for a while. Come on. Your big outreach center and your ball court and everything that you got going on, your puppet show and your drama team and your praise dancers and your tongue talking class and all of that stuff, that'll keep them occupied for a while. Yeah. But unless they get their teeth sunk good down into Jesus, you'll lose them. Amen. Why? Because the church down the road will build will build a bigger building. Right. They'll have a bigger crowd. Okay. They'll have a bigger choir, brother David. They'll have something better right. to entertain your people with. True. Amen. That's the way Hollywood does it. See, Hollywood competes. Right. Well, this show comes on and it's drawing millions of people. We got to put something on better on. and draw them over here. That's what the church does. Amen. Well, that church parking lot over there is full. We got what they got going on. They got a praise team, yeah. dance class, drama team, puppet show. Yeah. We gotta do we gotta do that stuff. We gotta put us in strong lights. Mm. No, we gotta preach Jesus. Amen. That's what he left us to do. Amen. We gotta preach Jesus. Wow. Jesus is more than enough. Amen. And if you came for more than Jesus this morning, if you tuned into this radio preacher this morning for more than Jesus, you might as well tune it on over to another channel. Because that's all I got to offer you. Amen. He's all I got and he's more than enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my my my. He's all that I got and he's more than enough. Yes. Oh, Amen. that's old fashioned. That's right. Amen. That's old fashioned. Oh, my Lord and my God. That's right. What about blind Bartimaeus? The Bible says in Mark 10 and 47, and when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. When he heard that it was Jesus. Not when he heard that it was some big circus show coming to town. Not when he heard that it was a snake oil salesman. He said when he heard it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry. See, Jesus was more than enough for old blind Bartimaeus. And when he realized that blind Bartimaeus wasn't blind Bartimaeus no more. Amen. After that, blind Bartimaeus could see. He could see. Why? Because Jesus was more than enough. How about the centurion servant? Luke 7 and 3. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him 
the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. Jesus was more than enough. Jesus is still more than enough. He's more than enough today. We don't need nothing else. Amen. He's all we got and He's more than enough. Yeah. Jesus is still more Amen. than enough. Yeah. What about over there in John, the fourth chapter, when the nobleman had a son that was sick at Capernaum, and when he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea to, Ju uh, to Galilee, yeah. he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. And Jesus said, Your son liveth. And the man runs back to his house, and when he gets there, I guess the next day, he, he finds his son alive. And he's healed, Brother David. Come on. And he asked the people, When did this happen? And they told him the hour that the fever broke. Yeah. And you know when the fever broke? When Jesus spoke the words and said, Your son liveth. Amen. Wow. Jesus was more than enough. He's still more than enough. When Peter and John walked up to the, to the temple at the hour of prayer, they didn't have nothing but Jesus. But honey, i got news for you. Wow. Jesus was more than enough. Hallelujah. <laughs> that old crippled man wouldn't be crippled no more. He wouldn't need nobody to pack him no more. And said it. The Bible says he was carried and laid at the gate. Yeah, come on. Can you imagine late that afternoon when the carriers came by? They thought, "Was time for us to go get that old cripple man and take him back home?" Yeah. They got up there, and the cripple man wasn't there where he was before. Come on, break. <laughs> break the old man was moved. Yeah. Oh, what happened to him? I guess they got tired of him sitting there. I guess they got rid of him. Yeah. Might have asked a passerby. Said, "What happened to him?" Said, "Oh, ain't you heard?" Come on, come on, <laughs> Oh, he was seen running in the streets. Why? Because Jesus was enough. He was seen leaping in the temple. Why? Because Jesus was enough. Poor old Peter and John didn't have two guys to rub together. All right. But they had Jesus, yeah. and he was more than enough. Come on. Oh, I could preach this morning. Go ahead. Bro. Hallelujah. You're doing good. My, my, my. That's good preaching. He was more than enough. Amen. Amen. They, they might ask you, Brother Dave, why don't you have this? Why don't you have that? Why don't you have the other? Yeah. Our answer should be this. We got Jesus. Amen. And He's more than enough. Amen. Right. Why don't your church have this? Why don't your church have that? Why don't your ministry have this? Why don't your ministry have that? We got Jesus. Right. And He's more than enough. Amen. Hello, you may not see a full piece band up here this morning, but we got Jesus. Amen. And He's more than enough. Right. You may not see a keyboard up here like one minister may mention of one night when he was here, but we got Jesus. Right. And He's more than enough. Amen. We may not have electric guitars. Hey, we got a guitar and we got Brother Dave and we got Jesus and that's more than enough. Amen. We got Jesus and He's more than enough. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus is more than enough. Yes, oh, hallelujah. Yes, what you got? I got Jesus. Right. And it's more than enough. Amen. And I won't have time this morning to keep going on and on and on about people. My, my, my. How about that woman at the well that day? Hallelujah. What she find when she went to the well? She didn't find some big wealthy, some big leader of the day. But she found Jesus. And He was more than enough. She didn't find some wise scholar that they all held in high degree. And He was one of the Pharisees. But she didn't find a Pharisee. She found Jesus. And He was more than enough. Amen. Some people looking for a Pharisee. Somebody looking for a preacher with doctrines on his walls. Amen. Find you a preacher that's full of Jesus. Amen. Oh, I want to find me a preacher that's full of knowledge and been to the seminary or the cemetery. Honey, find somebody that knows Jesus. I don't care if he's an old uneducated backwoods preacher in the hills of Kentucky. Find him and if he's got Jesus, stick with him. Get a hold of his coattail and follow him to the promised land. Hallelujah. Find your preacher has got Jesus. Yeah, but my preacher, he rubs elbows with the big guys. Find you one rubs elbows with Jesus. Amen. Better yet, find you one that... Find you one that rubs his knees against the carpet as he cries out to Jesus. Right. Amen. Find you somebody's got Jesus. Because he's more than enough. Amen. We got enough of these preachers of the century. Yeah. That have their doctorates and their things hanging on the wall. Says world's greatest preacher. Yeah. And they know it. Come on. Find you somebody's got Jesus. Come on, brother. Amen. Come on. Because Jesus is still more yes. than enough. Amen. Amen. He was more than enough for the woman to dwell. 
true. He was more than enough for Nicodemus. Right. He was more than enough at the gate when Peter and John went up. He was more than enough for Lazarus when he was dead for four days. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Come on. Go get the soothsayers and all they can't help nothing. Go get the Pharisees and all they can't help nothing. Yeah. Go get Jesus. He's the answer. He's more than enough. Amen. He's more than enough. <laughs> when we get our mind made up right. that Jesus is more than enough, we won't be so hard to satisfy. Come on. It won't matter so much who's what kind of you know who's doing the preaching as long as they're preaching Jesus. Yes, Amen. Right. It won't matter so much the song leader because you know some people can't worship the Lord unless the song leader's there, unless the band is all in tune, unless they're singing their favorite song. They can't worship the Lord. Unless everything's just right, yeah. they can't worship God. Amen. And then when you get to the place where Jesus, hallelujah, is more than enough, and you know that He's more than enough, you can worship Him in your car as you go down the road. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You don't need no band. Amen. You don't need no preaching. Amen. You don't need no worship leader. Amen. You don't need no dance team. Amen. You don't need no drama team. You don't need nothing to light your fire because he's already living. Amen. Yeah. He's enough. He's enough. He's enough. He's enough. Come on, preach. Oh, that's what's wrong with me this morning. I found out Jesus is more than enough. Yeah. I don't need your denomination. I don't need your church with the chandeliers, the strobe lights, and the smoke. I don't need your praise team. I just need Jesus. Amen. I don't need your religion. I just need Jesus. I don't need your men of your men of great degree. I just yeah. need Jesus. Amen. Oh. I got Jesus. And He's more than enough. Oh, that's a simple message this morning, but it's one the church needs to get back to. Yeah. Amen. True. Amen. True. This morning before service, I was singing this old song. Let's talk about Jesus. The King of Kings is He, yeah. the Lord of Lords Supreme throughout eternity. Amen. The great I am the way, the truth, the light, the door. Yeah. Let's talk about Jesus more and more. Right. We've heard enough about your church. We've heard enough about your degrees. We've heard enough about your, your, your district overseers. Amen. We want to hear about Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is the answer. Yeah. Jesus is the way. Yeah. Jesus is the life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. After all that Paul had been through. Right. And I'm trying to close. After all that Paul had been through. Paul was a learned man. He wasn't stupid. True. He knew the law and stuff before he came to Jesus. True. Amen. He was a religious man. Mm -hmm. He had rubbed elbows with the big ikes. Right. He had stature as far as the world's uh, positions are concerned. Right. He was held in high degree. All right. He knew a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But when it came down to where the rubber met the road, yeah. he looked at him and said, I am persuaded. I, let me read that. Go ahead. It's not I'm persuaded. What did he say? For I determined. Determined. Not to know anything among you. Yeah. Save Jesus Christ. Yeah. And him crucified. Amen. That's enough, preacher. That's it. Don't worry about Bible school. Right. Don't worry about the seminary. Come on. Don't worry about your PhD and your DDD and yes, your sir. BBB or whatever. Yes, sir. We're about getting hold of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. God can do more with an old plowboy like Elisha. Right. Then he can an old hypocritical Pharisee True. that knows all the knowledge up here but has no relationship down here. Amen. Amen. That's right. Oh, Lord, Absolutely. give us some spirit filled preachers yes. to teach us right from wrong. Right. Lord, give us some preachers that have put the spotlight back on Jesus and off of their self. Amen. I've never been so sick of preachers promoting their self in my life. Amen. It's all about Jesus. It ain't about you. Yes. It ain't about you. Come on. It's about Him. Amen. Why? Because He is more than enough. Yes. Right. Jesus was enough then. Jesus is still more than enough today. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, my, my, my. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the I am. You yes. ain't. You ain't the I am. And you know, one of the dangers, and I'm closing, I promise, one of the dangers of those kind of messages, 
the power of positive thinking, the power of positive confession. Yeah. It's because they don't put any emphasis on Jesus and having to accept Him. They put all the emphasis on the power that's within you yeah. to be able to change your situation. Come on. And I saw some testimonies from people that, and they said, I'm not a Christian, I'm not a believer, but this sermon really did a lot for me. This teaching really did a lot for me. Well, sure it did. Yeah. Because it leads sinners to believe right. that the power is within them. I got news for you today. The promises that are in this book, when it says you are more than a conqueror through Christ, right. it ain't talking about those that have not received the Lord. It's talking about the born again believers. Right. We must first come through the door, Jesus Christ, before we can sup from the table that He has spread in front of us. Amen? Amen. Too many people trying to eat from the table of the Lord and the table of the devil at the same time. Amen? That's why the Bible says you can't do that. You cannot have two masters. You cannot eat from the table of the Lord and the table of devils. Amen? You cannot fellowship with righteousness and have fellowship with evil because right. you cannot claim the promises of God right. if you are not grafted into the vine, if you have not been born again by the blood of the Lamb, if you have not came through Jesus Christ, these promises don't belong to you. On, but these preachers, they'll preach that positive thinking stuff to sinners. Yes. They won't tell them you need Jesus to change your life. They'll tell you you can change your life. Just change your way of thinking. Mm. You'll still split hell wide open. Yes, sir. You listen, you might feel good about yourself. You might even get some things accomplished as far as the world looks at it. But Brother David, you can feel good about yourself all day long, but you still gonna split hell wide open Amen. if you don't have Jesus Christ. Amen. You'll come through Jesus or you won't go. Preacher, that's old fashioned. I can't help it. It's the only way. Amen. Jesus is more than enough. He's the only answer today. Amen. It ain't in you. Absolutely. It's in him. Yes, sir. It's in him. Come on. When we get our attention on him. We'd be doing a whole lot better. Yeah. Amen. Because Jesus is still more than enough. Right. Jesus is still more than enough. Amen. He'll get you from this side to glory. Yes, sir. He'll hold your trembling hand. True. As you lay on your deathbed. Yes. And cross over river the river Jordan. Amen. Right. He'll go with you. He'll go with you all the way. He won't leave you. Come on. He'll never forsake you. You won't have to go home alone. Come on. Amen. You won't have to go home alone. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Yes. Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Amen. Jesus has conquered death and the grave. Jesus has conquered death and the grave. Amen. There is life to be found in Jesus, not your denomination. There is life to be found in Jesus, not your entertainment. There is life to be found in Jesus, not in everything that you and yourself and your flesh have to offer. All I can offer you is Him, and He is more than enough today. Amen? If you're sick in body, Jesus is more than enough. If you're lost, Jesus is more than enough. If you don't have peace, Jesus is more than enough. If you don't have joy, Jesus is more than enough. If you don't have a reason for living... Come on. Jesus is still more than enough. Yes. Say, preacher, I heard Granny talk about Him. Well, I got news for you. The same Jesus that caused Granny to shout around the clothesline while she hung up the underwear is the same Jesus today. Amen. Amen. I know the church has changed. I know they don't want to hear about the blood. They don't want to sing the old hymnals. They want some kind of contemporary. I call it temporary music. Yeah. It won't be around too long. Amen. Yeah. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound will stand throughout the ages, but hoop, 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 will be gone tomorrow. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. I know the music has changed. I know they've changed the words to the book. Yes. But Jesus said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus was enough yesterday. Yes. Jesus is enough today. Jesus is enough for tomorrow. Amen. 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 Somebody said, I don't fear what tomorrow holds because God is already there. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus Praise is God. more than enough. Jesus is still more than enough. That's what we have to offer you today. Amen. Jesus Christ. Right. Jesus Christ. He is the Savior of the world. Right. He is the same Jesus that as John was baptized in the River Jordan. Amen. Looked up and saw Him walking and said, Behold, yes. the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. Yes. He's the same Jesus that John the Revelator saw in the future over there in the book of Revelation and said He was the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world. <laughs> Jesus is more than enough. Amen. Jesus is more than enough. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My, my, my. 
Jesus is more than enough. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Someone else have something this morning before we go.